Hello everyone, you'd recall from the last lesson, watch it if you haven't already done so because it's important, where you were taught how to create a topic name and how to create a lesson name and you were also taught how to add an image into the specific lesson. The next step is to actually build your lesson from what the topic and the lesson name and the image that you've created. So if you click on three dots from the previous screen, which is the classroom screen, and go to create lesson, you would then be presented with the screen you see in front of you. Now to create a lesson is very, very simple. You'll click on the three dots, which is on your top uh, right hand corner of your screen. You'll click on select lesson. You'll then select the topic and the lesson name and the screen will now open. Notice that there's a kennel and it's moving a little bit, so it's possible to add images and animations into our system. And the first image will always appear by default. We don't like to look at the blank screen. So when we open a lesson, the first image will appear by default. Now to start recording, you simply click on the blue button on the top of the toolbar. That will turn red. You'll notice that the clock is now starting to tick. So to create a lesson, I'm just going to go to a new screen by clicking on this particular arrow here. All right, now you've got a nice clean screen to work from. And I can write on the screen one, two, three, four, five, six. Now here is your color palette. I can move that to the center, click on it, select the color, seven, eight, nine. I can also click on here. To adjust my pen thickness, I'm going to go thin, 9, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 6. You can see that the pen is much thinner. Now let me close the color palette, move it away. I'm going to click and move to a nice clean screen again. And you'll notice that if I write 1, 2, 3, I can use this button to erase whatever it is I've written last. Look, one, two, three, and I'm back to a clean screen. Now, I'm going to draw a square here with a circle inside, and I'm going to click on this button. Notice how it opens up a side drawer. If I turn this pin to face in the other direction like that, I can now write into the side drawer, but I will not be able to write on the main screen. Look, no writing can be accomplished on the main screen. So the pen, this pen, determines where you can write. Now, what is the reason for that? I'm going to go down here to this arrow and look what happens when I click on it. Only the side drawer can move up and down. So this allows you to keep this image here in focus while you can write more about the image in, in this screen. I'm now going to close the side drawer, switch the pen back to, to normal. I'm going to go back to a clean screen. And the last thing that I need to show you would be how to add an image. In this gallery here, are basically images which you would add when you're preparing the lesson. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to show me all the images that I have which is part of the lesson. So I'm just going to click on image number three and it will automatically add that image to my screen and I can now select and write over the image. As you can see I'm writing over this image. But it's yellow so I'll choose white and there you go. I can write nicely on the image. Uh, that's basically basically it. You've got the idea. There's uh, other little features uh, that I'll explain in a further video. But in this three minutes, three and a half minute video is coming up to three and a half minutes. You basically know everything on how to create a lesson. The last step and the final step would be to click on the three dots. Well, sorry. First, you stop the lesson. Stop recording, then click on the three dots and click on save lesson online. It's going to ask you to choose between a lesson and a link. And we're just going to choose lesson and click on save. A white rectangle will come up like this. 
and you will wait. You can see this lesson, although it is three and a half minutes, it's only 2.6 megabytes. It's very, very little. The blue line, wait for the blue line to fill all the way through. This is now being saved to the server. And once that blue line is filled, you will click on the close button. Now I can click on the close button. And that's the end. The lesson has been created and the lesson has been saved.